Well, how is she going, boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. Boys, I love it when you stop by the shop. In today's project in the shop is we're going to extend the compressed air line in the shop. I put a compressor in here a couple, three weeks ago or more. Uh, I'll put a link up here for that video if you want to check that out. But what I want to do now is uh, extend the compressed air line in the shop. I want to put an outlet over here on the wood bench side of the shop and put an outlet on the mechanical bench side of the shop. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's have a look, see how I make out. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I, I cut out this piece of wood here to mount the uh, air station on at the wood bench. And I laid out, I, I need to have the filter regulator there, I need to have a stop valve there, and I need to have an LB with a barb connector and a female quick connect here to plug the attachments into. So that's the way it's going to go together. So I'm going to start by just securing this filter onto this back plate. Okay, so what I want to do is have this shutoff valve mounted on this block. And uh, what I did to make this block is I just had a piece of 2x4, drilled a hole vertically down through it, and then cut the 2x4 the in half. So I have a little cutout there to set my valve into. So that's the right height here now. So that's about where I want that. Move it over to about there. And then I'm going to put my clamp on it. Okay, so then I'm going to flip this over and I'll put two screws in from this side. So I'll put a screw in here. I need one of these doohickeys in here. <laughs> and then just a little tiny piece of hose that's going to go between them. And I'm using, for this air distribution system, of course, I'm using this, uh, uh, what do they call this, uh, PVC hose. Uh, it was very, very stiff. I didn't bother using it in the shop, but it's, there's nothing wrong with it, so I'm going to use it here. My airline is going to come in here. I can shut that off, turn it on, and go through the filter. So now I need to put some fittings on this side. I need another uh, fitting, 3 8 fitting to go in here. And that's going to go there. And then I have a barbed fitting. This is one quarter inch thread. And I have a one quarter inch elbow here. So I'm going to put that in there. So let me just put some Teflon tape on it. So then this is going to go on here. Push this on here as far as I can get it. Put a gear clamp on it. Uh, I'm going to put Teflon on this fitting first because it's easier to do it when I can handle it on my hands rather than it being on the board. And then what goes on that is a uh, quick connect. And again this is a quarter inch. So now I can locate that in here. like that. So then my block is going to mount under here just to support that. Okay, here at the wood bench, this is where this is going to go, right up in there. So I have lots of room up here to make my adjustments for air pressure, and the on and off, and then I can plug my utensils, my tools, whatever I need in here. 
Okay, uh, there's the uh, pressure gauge. So that just threads in here. So we have Teflon tape on it. I uh, hope I can get another half a turn on this. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, there we go. Once I get air in that, I can adjust the pressure and we'll be good. Okay, here's the main distribution now for the shop right now as it stands. Uh, I have the air coming in here from the compressor, through a regulator, separator, oiler, through a shutoff valve, down to my air hose. So I want to change this. What I want to do is I have a, I want to have a shutoff valve right here. And then I would like to have the regulator, separator, and lubricator. And then a T, and then one line going out to distribute to the shop, and the other line coming over to go down to my hose reel. So we're going to have to change this somewhat. Alright, so I rearranged my distribution points here. So down here I have my main air shut off. That's on. That's off right now. And then a little uh, hose up here to my regulator so I can adjust that. And then I have a line here that's going to distrib distribute to the rest of the shop. And then this one goes to my hose reel. So uh, I think that's going to work alright. Now what I need to do is I need to run the line from here, up through here, across the shop to the wood bench, and then put a T in the ceiling to come over to the mechanical bench. So what I want to do is uh, this blue airline that I have, I'm going to put that along the main beam of the burn, but I need to put some clips or clamps on this to hold it in place. Uh, so what I'm doing is, uh, I got a piece of pipe here that's approximately the same diameter as my hose. And then I went and got some uh, plumber strap. I have a bunch of pieces. I keep the pieces. <laughs> Crazy, I know. Uh, and then I just cut them just, I don't know, that's about four inches long. Four big holes long, that's how long I cut them. So then uh, this little hole then is in the middle of it. So I put that little hole in the top of my pipe and I just bend that around the pipe. Then I take my pliers and I just bend the last tab of the big hole in it, just bend it out flat. And like these don't have to be like machined or factory formed or anything. But then when it's like that, then this clip will fit over the hose and screw to my uh, joist. And it's not too tight on the hose so it won't. Uh, it shouldn't cause the hose any problems, right? See that fits in there pretty good and the hose will still move in it, but it'll support the hose. So I'm going to make up, I don't know, a dozen of these clips and then we'll start installing the hose. So I'm getting ready now to run my uh, airline through the shop here, through the across the beam in the shop. And I want to bring it down to connect to the uh, regulators I added here. So in order to do that, I have to put a couple of holes in these shelves. And then another one up here. So the way my line is going to be run is across the beam. And it's going to go down behind this shelf. Through this hole and then through this hole. Okay, so now I put my gear clamp on here, and then we have to wrestle this hose onto this fitting here. Something like that, then we put a gear clamp up here. So that's on, and that's off. Alright, now what we need to do is, I need to tie this hose on here I think I'll put a clamp right on this 2x4 then put another one up here and then start running it across the shelf. So I'm going to put a clamp on every two feet So right here I have uh, a chain hook up here uh, for my uh, chain fall in the middle of the shop. So 
So I have a couple of blocks to keep that chain from pinching on the, the water hose. So now I'm going to take this bottom part off. And then I can just move this up to where it'll uh, space for both of those lines. And now I have no risk of these change, chains crushing the pipe. So now with my airline in here, I want to swoop it out around there, up around there, and down to here to connect on this fitting. So I think if I cut it about there, that ought to be decent. So then we put a gear clamp on here and on to here. Something like that. Put the gear clamp down here. So perfect right there. <laughs> Right. So now I need to run, uh, put a T in here, run a line over to the mechanical bench area. So I'm going to cut this hose right here to put the T in it. Right about there. So I'll put a gear, a gear clamp on there. It's a regular T fitting, barbed T fitting. So that's going to go there. And then I bring in the other piece of wood. So then we can tighten up all the clamps. So I finished this line off across here, put a quick connect up there and then attach one of these curly hoses to it. And now I have down here my air gun. So we're going to turn the uh, air on now, check for leaks. So here's the main supply now for the shop. So that runs over to my wood shop side and then this line here to the curly for the mechanical side. So here on the mechanical side, I've got just a blowgun hooked up on it. Okay, here at the other side of the shop, we've got air up to this point. So let's turn this on. And, not sure if you can hear it or not. But we have a leak here. I think it's coming from that fellow right there. So I'm going to try and tighten that gear clamp a little. Alright, problem solved. What I did to solve this is I put uh, bigger bolts in here, uh, lag bolts, to hold the uh, filter more secure to the backboard. And then I replaced these clamps. And I also put my little <laughs> hair dryer slash uh, heat gun on the uh, PVC to soften it up and then tighten those pipe clamps on there. So, no leaks now. So just to finish up, I added some labels here, like uh, main air, off and on, and uh, shop air, hose reel, so on. Well, I'm happy now that I finally got this air distribution system in the shop straightened away. Uh, I've got outlet now here on the woodworking side of the shop, and I've got an outlet at the mechanical side, so it's good. Nice, easy air access is going to work out well. So I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm so glad you dropped by. And don't forget everyone, thumbs up me. And I love getting comments, so leave me some comments. And my regular viewers, you know I can't get along without you fellas. So keep tuning in. I appreciate it. In the meantime, everybody, stay safe. Have a great week. 
Wheel Darkness.